Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the third member of the Elite Four, uh, Glacia, the Master of Ice type Pokemon. She, uh, almost fainted, uh, <laughs> she almost fainted Fighter in the last part, put it down, put Fighter's HP down in the red zone, but, uh, we were able to still beat her, so that's awesome. So yeah, this is, uh, today we're gonna take on the, um, fourth member of the Elite Four, Drake, the Master of Dragon type Pokemon. I have, uh, I have a mentor at front, so yeah, let's do it. Sucked him from the side. I am the last of the Pokemon League. Elite Four Drake, the Dragon Master. He even calls him the Dragon Master. Wow. In the in their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us. At times they help us. For the for us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, you will never prevail over me. We'll see about that, Drake. It's on. Let's battle. Yeah. So this is Drake. He's not wearing a shirt. Well, he's wearing like a Copa and a shirt. <laughs> yeah, okay. Drake for Drake wins the battle. Of course he does. Yeah. This shield gone is uh, level 52 and male. So let's go with the Ice Beam. I bet I'm going to one-shot like almost all his Pokemon. Like, except with the exception of, uh... With the exception of, uh... The, um... The, uh... Altaria, probably, yeah. But we'll see. I remember my original Pokemon Ruby walkthrough guide. I like I one shot like every po all of his Pokemon, and the video ended up being like a little bit over six minutes. I think I'll put like a screen ca uh, screen capture of like that thumbnail and stuff in the video <laughs> on screen right now. But I want to see if I can beat that time honestly. So this field Flygon is level fifty three and male. Although I'm not giving out the move set, so I'm gonna finish quicker this time. So yeah. Probably finish quicker, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Flygon goes down, awesome. Okay, so it's getting. F and he's, he has two Flygons, so that's pretty cool. Good for him. This one's level 53. I think they're both level 53 in male, except for they probably just know different moves. But that's just me. Yeah. Nice, okay. Goes down one hit. So we're one shotting. We've one shot all his Pokemon so far. Altaria, okay. Now, just to be safe, I'm probably gonna not one shot this Altaria because I'll put it in the deep reds if I do. Use an Ice Beam right off the bat. So I'm gonna use a Sludge Bomb. We can down just a little bit and then use Ice Beam. Yeah, okay, cool. That's good. Let's get Dragon Dance. This Altaria is level 54 in male. We got Dragon Dance raises up its attack, its speed. Yeah, because we have to watch out for that. Don't want to get too many of those up. You know, because that could be bad, you know. Takedown is hit with uh, does 52 HP on Metroid, but um does a little bit of equal damage. Ice Beam hits, awesome, and the Altaria goes down, awesome, nice. Metroid level 57, so yeah. His last Pokemon is Cell, man. So I do not want to, this is this is the Metroid show today. Metroids get all got all the attention and playtime. And you know, all you, can, you know, Metroid is just a star. This Salamence is level 55 in male, so we're two levels higher. So Metroid is two levels higher than it. So let's see if this one kills it. It does, awesome. So there we go. Yeah, nice. Metroid gained 2560 experience. Cool. We did feed Elite Four Drake, awesome. Superb, it should be said. Thanks, man. Thanks for 5500 pocket dollars. Awesome. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of, of Pokemon. You deserve. T you seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer. What a trainer needs is a various heart. Pokemon touch uh, uh, the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of the sh trainers and grow strong. That rhymes actually kind of. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. Okay, so I can go in here. Now keep in mind, uh, this is the longest walkway in between building, uh, between the rooms of the Wii 4 actually. It's pretty cool. Um, but once you step through that door, you can't, uh, you can't, it'll automatically walk for you. So you make sure you want to stop, like, right here next to the door and do all the necessary healing that you may need to do. So actually, I do need a heal. I think I need a super potion to use on, uh, Metroid, yeah. Let's see here, yeah. Ah, oh, so close to the floor. It up. You know, it's missing 2 HP, so I might as well just use another one berry. Yeah, there we go. Again with the checking of the tag. I fell for it again. There we go, nice. Two points, yeah, cool. So, uh, I know he start. I know it's Steven Stone, you know, the champion of Hoenn. He starts off with a, um, 
with this Skarmory. So we'll go put Smoky up to the front, I guess. Yeah. So this has been that my Pokemon will be Weedy Walk the Apart. Next part, we'll take on the champion of the late Force, Steven Stone, the master of Steel type Pokemon. We're gonna give him an awesome battle. He's gonna be obviously the toughest to defeat, honestly. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next time my Pokemon movie, Redo Walkthrough Guide.